Let us now continue our discussion about the other drafting aids that we can use in AutoCAD. Another handy and useful drawing aids here in AutoCAD is the dynamic input. Normally, you will have to focus your eyes or your attention here on the command line to read the prompts that AutoCAD is providing you. So, you will have to shift your focus on the drawing area and then to the command line. But when the dynamic input is toggled on, you will be only focusing on your drawing area because the dynamic input will provide you a command interface exactly on the drawing area and it is near your cursor so you can just read the commands without looking on the command line. So to toggle on, we can click the icon here of the dynamic input on the status bar or we can just press the F12 function key on our keyboard. So let's say for example we are going to draw a line where the dynamic input toggled on. So there you can see now that once I type letter L for the line command you will already see the options here on your drawing area and as well as the prompts. But if you will toggle off the dynamic input and will do the same thing or use the line command, you will see that instead of having the inputs here shown on your drawing area, it will be shown here on the command line. So you will have to shift your focus here from the drawing area to the command line. So the dynamic input is very useful so that you will have your attention just on the drawing area. In the traditional drawing, we observe the different line thickness. For example, if it's an object line, then we must do it with a thick line. Or if it's a dimension line, then it must be a thin line. So in AutoCAD, it's the same process. When working with drawings with AutoCAD, it is much better that we have to show the thickness of each line so that we will be able to establish which are the object lines versus to the other lines in our drawing. And we can show that, or we can turn that on and off in our drawing area through the use of another drawing aid, which is the line weight drawing aid. And here, if you toggle it off, you will notice that the, th the thickness of the lines of the objects here in the drawing area becomes thin. But once you toggle it on again, then the real thickness of the line that is used to draw those objects were presented on the screen. Most of the commands you use in AutoCAD will require you to specify a location or a point on your drawing or object in order to take an effect. And for you to specify a precise location, it will be better if you will use this special drawing aid which is called as the object snap or the osnap. 
Object Snaps will let you snap onto a specific location on your object or drawing or drawing once you are prompted to pick or specify a location. So let's say for example, we can use the object snaps or the aw snaps if we wanted to draw a line from the center of this circle up to the corner of this square. So how do we actually use the object snap? So first, we need to activate it and we can do that by either clicking the icon here on the status bar. So it is the square that has a dot or a circle on the upper left side. Or you can just press the F3 function key on your keyboard. Remember that when you specify an object snap at a prompt for a point, the object snap stays in effect only for the next point that you specify. Object snaps works only when you are prompted for a point. There are actually various or different object snap modes and we can access them through the pull down menu beside the object snap icon. So just make a left click on that pull down menu and it will show you now the different object snaps object snap modes that you can use or you can just click in here the object snap settings and it will show you the drafting settings dialog box and all of these modes are located under the Object Snap tab. So here we have the Object Snap mode such as the Endpoint, the Midpoint, Center, um, Tangent, Perpendicular, and many others. If you are going to use these modes in every drawing or in every prompts, in AutoCAD, it is much better that you select them and set them as the running object snaps. Uh, you can do that by just clicking on each object snap modes. So once there is a check or once it is selected, it means that it is now a running object snaps and it will work anytime on your drawing area. Let us now discuss the different object snap modes in AutoCAD. And let's start with the endpoint. And the endpoint is represented by a square or a box. And the endpoint works as or helps us to snap to the exact endpoint of a line, an arc, or other object that has a definite ending. The endpoint is useful when we need to join lines and when we need to do dimensioning. Another OSNAP mode is the midpoint. The midpoint is used to find the exact middle of an any object that has a beginning and an end. All lines and arcs have a midpoint. If we have the midpoint to designate the center of lines and arcs, we also have the center. And this one is used to snap to the exact center of circles, arcs, and ellipses. To lessen the work of finding the center of objects such as squares or rectangles, we can use the geometric center. The geometric center snaps to the geometric center of a rectangle rather than trying to find the two midpoints. It works on closed polylines, rectangles, and splines. Represented by a diamond, the quadrant object snap mode will allow us to snap to one of the four quadrant points of a circle. Aside from the center and the quadrant, we can also use the tangent or snap mode in circles, and it will allow us to snap to a tangent point in a circle. 
Another helpful OSNAP mode is the intersection. It is represented by an X. And it will allow us to snap to the physical intersection of any two drawing objects. Another OSNAP mode is the perpendicular. It is represented by like a right angle and it will allows us to snap to a point that is perpendicular to our selected object. If an OSNAP mode can assist us in making perpendicular lines, then we can also make parallel lines easily and that is through the use of the parallel or snap mode. Another mode is the nearest or snap mode and this will help us to find the nearest or the closest point on an object relative to where we started. Another or snap mode is the insertion. This mode will snap to the insertion of points of objects such as blocks, text, and attributes. Still part of the OSNAP modes is the extension. This one will enables us to snap to some point along the imaginary extension of a line, an arc, or a polyline segment. Working alongside with the object snap is the awe track or the object snap track and its icon can be found just beside the object snap icon on the status bar or you can also toggle it on by pressing the F11 function key. With this drawing aid, it will provide us a track along alignment paths that are based on object snap points. As you can see here on the video, once the all track mode is toggled on and you snap to the nearest object snap mode, just, just like the endpoint, you will notice a green line will appear and that is the alignment path actually and that is already the object snap track.